We're here with Megan Roche, the winner of the 2024 Crown King Scramble. Megan, congratulations on having a great race. Thank you. Did you have a plan and did it execute according to your plan? Not too much of a plan besides to go out there and just like put myself in the pain cave and then stay deep in the pain cave uh, for a little while. Uh, and that was definitely what happened. Some good pain cave moments out there, but super fun. I mean, I love the course. It was amazing. I just wanted to get in a good, like hard training effort and kind of feel what it's like to just uh, put myself out there again. So this was your first race back uh, after a lot of <laughs> yeah, life a changes. Lot of stuff, yeah. uh, can you kind of walk us through that and why you chose Crown King as your comeback race? Yes, yeah, so I had some heart issues uh, two years ago that have been kind of like intermittently coming back, which has been a little scary. And then um, I'm also postpartum as well. So I have um, a 16 month old who's here running around somewhere, um, very much enjoying the Crown King saloon and everything here. And so um, definitely have had, I haven't raced as much. It's actually my first ultra, I think, in three years. Um, so it's been a bit and I guess I chose it because it's uphill I love uphills and just in terms of like coming back and like feeling like I'm back in the ultra scene again it's just kind of gentler on the body to do an uphill effort and also these trails are incredible and we love Aravai Vipa so it's amazing with with regards to uh, picking this race um, how much studying did you and, and David to another extent like how, do, how much did you do in terms of getting ready for this race did you just would be elevation profile and say go or like did you know that it was you know uh forest service road the entire way or did you know what were your expectations we have yeah we definitely scouted it quite a bit we've coached a number of athletes who've done the race too so it's like i feel like from our coaching we're like really familiar with like you know the finish is like a bomb and fast descent and kind of nice to hit the top with not like you know pretty cooked that way you can hammer the finish so um we've kind of like been familiar with the course in coaching over time and so it was really fun to come out here and like run it myself plus too i feel like just knowing the number of athletes that have run this that are kind of legends in the sport it's fun to just feel like throwing down a fast time and seeing how that rolls in that context too were you able to take it one of my favorite things about this course i've run this event six times oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> one of my favorite things about this race is Every so often you can turn around behind you and see where you've been. Yeah. Uh, did you get a chance to take any of that in here today? I did, actually. That's not usually my mojo in races. Usually I'm like head down hammer, but it was beautiful out there. And like, there was something magical about seeing the sunrise too. And even just feeling like, I mean, you gain so much elevation. Like we're here now at altitude and we started at sea level. And it's really fun just to look down and be like, damn, that was a long ways that we've been climbing. And so um, seeing that and the beauty, it was, it was really, really cool. Yeah, you can literally see like from the little bell back to the lake, which oh, is it's a very wild. Unique beach yes, lake. yeah. I actually, I usually don't turn around because I'm like not gonna check my shoulder, not gonna see what's back there. But I was like, I want to see the sunrise. I want to see the beautiful thing. So it was really, it was like stunning and gorgeous out there. You, uh, you ended up uh, finishing first over a pretty stout field today, and uh, by a fairly sizable margin. Was there a point earlier in the race where maybe some separation took place, or did you just kind of go out and whatever? was going on around you, you just kind of let, let it be. I ran with a third place woman who's coming in here in a second um, for probably the first mile. And then from there, it was just, I was kind of running solo with, um, I had a number of men out there to keep me company and to try to like focus like, okay, Megan, like let's hunt some people down. So it was really fun to be in that mindset. And it just given the number like Eden Nielsen, like, you know, Alicia, Alicia Vargo and like so many amazing runners that have done this course. It was also kind of like, okay, Megan, like you're racing history too out there and like thinking of those runners as I was like, you know, trying to make some moves was really, really fun. So uh, what advice would you have for second place finisher David Roche in order to like, you know, <laughs> put himself over the top and win this race such as you did? Uh, he, I'm so happy David did this race. It's so fun to get to race together. Um, I think for him it was, he's actually had a little bit of like a knee injury. He fell and hurt his knee. And so to see him come and do this, like he's been spending some quality time in our treadmill pain cave and on the bike. And so um, to see him doing this, like, and to run so fast in terms of like the historical times off of cross training, it's one of those moments for me like when I have to cross train I'm gonna have I'm gonna like draw on that and be like oh yeah it's possible like it's it's really an, a great like performance advantage to have that in your system. When uh, obviously you're 16 months postpartum um, how has it been balancing your training to get back into race shape versus being a new mom? It's super different it's I mean I actually like missed my long run last weekend because Leo was up all night and like things like that and so there's just this level of like flexibility that I feel like I need as an athlete and um, it's actually made me, I feel, a better racer because it's like, there's almost like a life fatigue resistance to having a baby and you're like, okay, I'm gonna apply this to racing. And um, so I think there's like, 
it's definitely hard and you gotta be flexible, but I think there's also so many positives to it too. And honestly, like even pre-race, it's so different. Like, you know, I'm like changing a diaper this morning, like before the race at 4.30 in the morning. And there's something that's like very grounding about that, that I love. And so um, it's really meaningful to have Leo Peering get to experience it with him. To follow up on that, how does it feel to be back? Uh, it feels so good. Uh, I was out there actually, I had a few moments as I was like, like at mile 20 and I was like starting to tear up because I'm like, I'm doing it, I'm back. And then I was like, okay, Megan, like you're not to the finish line yet. You should probably like rein this in. Um, so it just, it really truly means a lot. But still to soak it in. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, oh, I soaked it in out there. I was like, this is great, this is so fun. Sometimes um, you just have that emotional like moment where you realize like, you know, that you're back or that this is what it's all about. And yeah. I'm sure that that was a great year to have. Yeah, once I got to mile 22, there was something and I was like, I'm doing the thing. Like it felt, it was like, I had confidence in where I was and how I was running. And to feel that again, like I haven't felt that in a long time was really, really magical. Awesome. One last question. What advice would you give as a first timer who, you know, had success here today, extreme success, what advice would you have for those people that are considering running this race uh, for the first time in the future? Yeah, I think it's definitely a grind. And I was really cautious at the start. Like I love to go out hot in races. And I actually like, I never do this, but I kind of followed my heart rate as I was out there. Cause I was like, Megan, do not red line in the beginning because there's so much climbing that the opportunities to kind of recover on the downhills are slightly more limited. And so I think just being really cautious with pacing, being smart with pacing. And then for me, like I tried to progressively ramp up the effort as I went. And I think that really helped. Awesome. Well, Megan, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. This is so fun. On, I love know, it. Welcome back to the scene. It's thank definitely, you. you know, great to see you out there. You know, and, and seeing you right now, your your joy and your energy is thank you. like shows that like it's good to have you back here. And thank you so much. Back, so. That means a ton. I really appreciate it. Thank right, you. Take care.